Yorkshire Day from St George's Hall. Today, as we look around this historic landmark building in the centre of Bradford, celebrating all things Yorkshire, let us consider how traits of the Yorkshire character can be seen in the history of the hall. Well known for being tough, hard-working, down-to-earth, practical, no-nonsense, the Yorkshire character is also famously tight with money. See all, hear all, say out. Eat all, sup all, pay out. And if there ever does out for out, do it for the sen. However, the Yorkshire character is also known for being warm, friendly and generous. And this spirit can be seen in the creation of St George's Hall, which was built on a great wave of philanthropy. The founder, Samuel Smith, was a Yorkshire businessman and a great lover of music. And in 1849, he proposed a concert hall. The following year, a joint stock company was created and shares were sold at £10 a throw. In this way, the money needed to build the hall was raised through shares bought by local people. The ground the hall was built on was paid for by the mill owner Titus Salt, who was a major benefactor. The opening of the hall was a huge public event, with a three-day music festival, a public holiday and a free concert for the people of Bradford. Made with beautiful local Yorkshire sandstone and designed by Bradford architects Lockwood and Mawson, the hall went on to host visitors from around the world, such as the Indian and colonial representatives from across the British Empire, the Shah of Persia, ambassadors from Japan and performers from around the globe. In 1949, Bradford's Victorian buildings had fallen out of favour with the city planners. And at that time, St George's Hall was a down-at-heel cinema, soot black, covered in bird dirt and in danger of being demolished. To save the hall, Bradford Civic Society offered to buy the site from British Gaumont for £35,000. Bradford Corporation completed the transaction and incredibly, at a time of great austerity after the Second World War, the site underwent extensive refurbishment. St George's Hall reopened as a municipal concert hall in 1953, 100 years after its original opening. So on Yorkshire Day, let's think of all the grafters, the Yorkshire blood, sweat and tears that have gone into this building, refurbishing, reopening and maintaining this magnificent municipal public hall over the years. The builders who built it by hand in stone over 167 years ago. The stonemasons who made over a thousand repairs during the recent refurbishment. The roofers who rebuilt the roof. The local specialist plasterers who fixed the beautiful decorative plaster work. The cleaners who have worked so hard to keep it looking so good. The many teams of devoted theatre staff who have run the venue since 1853 and through two world wars. And of course, our loyal Yorkshire audiences who support the venue and the many Yorkshire performers who have entertained the audiences in the auditorium. In these dark days of closure during this global pandemic, let's look forward to reopening St George's Hall and welcoming audiences back in to enjoy shows and the heritage of this unique place in this great Yorkshire city of Bradford.